In module one, we talked about ways in which users can connect to Microsoft Dynamics 365, and we spent a few minutes talking about Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Outlook client and the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook solution. In this module, we will dive deeper into these two solutions. We will discuss the installation and configuration process, how to review synchronized fields, and how to leverage the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook. Dynamics 365 for Outlook is installed on a computer that runs Outlook and provides access to the same data as the web client but from within Outlook. Dynamics 365 for Outlook also allows Outlook items such as email, appointments, contacts, and tasks to be tracked in Dynamics 365. Tracking means that an Outlook item is copied to the Dynamics 365 database. For example, a user receives an email from a customer which the user needs to store in Dynamics 365. Using the Dynamics 365 for Outlook client makes this easy. All the user has to do is to open or select the email from the customer and click on the button labeled Track. You can use Dynamics 365 email templates for emails created in Outlook. Also, Dynamics 365 for Outlook allows users to work with Dynamics 365 data offline. So even when the computer is not connected to the company network, a subset of the Dynamics 365 database is available on the local drive of the computer. The supported operating systems for Dynamics 365 for Outlook includes 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows 7 with Service Pack 1, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. The Windows Server 2012 and Server 2012 R2 server operating systems are also supported for remote desktop services. The supported versions of Outlook include those in Office 2010, Office 2013, and Office 2016. Note that the 64-bit client of Dynamics 365 for Outlook is only supported on the 64-bit version of Office. For 32-bit versions of Office, the 32-bit client of Dynamics 365 for Outlook must be installed. The architecture of the operating system is not relevant. Internet Explorer 10 or 11 is required, and other required components might be downloaded and installed during the setup. There are different ways to install Dynamics 365 for Outlook. The best method depends on the number of computers where Dynamics 365 for Outlook needs to be installed and organizational policies for the installation of software. Manual installation requires local administrator rights on the computer. For installing on several computers, installing using the command line can save time, but consider the time required to set this up. Command line installation is probably not worth the effort for much less than 10 computers. When a user runs the web application on a computer with Outlook, a notification is shown inviting the user to download and install Dynamics 365 for Outlook. The user requires local administrator rights to perform the installation, and a Dynamics 365 administrator can disable the Outlook notifications on the General tab of System Settings. Group Policy is a feature of Active Directory for software installation. Software can be automatically installed or made available for manual installation. The benefit of using group policy is that users do not require local administrator rights on a computer to install software made available by group policy. As with using the command line, be prepared to spend some time setting up group policy if you have not used it before. Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager is a tool for managing PCs and servers and keeping software up to date. It can also be used to deploy Dynamics 365 for Outlook. You can always remote desktop into your user's computer, and there are third-party tools that provide features similar to System Center Configuration Manager. The configuration of the Dynamics 365 for Outlook client is very simple and requires three steps. First, the user selects Dynamics 365 instead of providing a URL. Then the user enters his or her credentials, and finally, select the appropriate instance to complete the configuration process. In order for the user to track emails, appointments, contacts, and tasks from Microsoft Outlook to Dynamics 365, the email address on his or her Dynamics 365 user account must match the email address being used in Microsoft Outlook. If this is not the case, an error like the one you see on this slide will be displayed, and tracking will not work until the email addresses match. The Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Microsoft Outlook client can be used to connect to multiple Dynamics 365 instances, and even an on-prem organization when leveraging dual user rights. 
A couple of things are important to know here is that synchronization of Microsoft Outlook items to Dynamics 365 as well as the ability to access Dynamics 365 data offline will only be available to the main instance, which is the first instance configured on the Dynamics 365 for Outlook configuration wizard. Let's take a moment to walk through the process of configuring the Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Microsoft Outlook client. Now the easiest way to find and install the Outlook client is to actually log in into Dynamics 365 with the web client. Once you're in Dynamics 365, you can navigate to the settings and click on the apps for Dynamics 365 section. Now this is a really great section to be familiar with because here you can download the apps for your mobile phone and tablet as well as the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook which we will cover later in this module. But here you notice that on the last section on the bottom, we're able to download the Dynamics 365 for Outlook client. So I can click on here and then download and install the client. And once you click on this, you notice that the download will start and allow you to install the client. I've already done that. I already went through the wizard and installed the client. It takes about three to five minutes, depending on your machine and, and how quickly can you download the software. But now that it's installed, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy the URL for Dynamics 365. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And then I'm going to navigate into my configuration wizard. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and go into the AMPs for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Once I expand that section, I'm going to go into the configuration wizard. Now notice that here I can select CRM online if I want to just go ahead and provide the credentials that I'm currently logged in with. For users who are logged in with their domain credentials and Federation has been implemented in their instance, this option makes sense. That way their credentials are automatically pulled and used when logging in into CRM online. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and paste the URL from my instance and I'm going to uncheck this box so I can enter my credentials. I'm going to go ahead and click and connect. And now I'm going to populate the information. All right, and now that the organization has been added to my configuration wizard, I am ready to open Microsoft Outlook and access all of the functionality of Microsoft Dynamics 365 within Outlook. Now, I've mentioned offline access a couple of times now, so let's talk about the details behind this capability. First and foremost, the mission of the offline capability is to allow users to work with Dynamics 365 data even when they're not connected to a network. This capability will only work when two things are accomplished. First, the capability must be added either during the installation of the Dynamics 365 for Microsoft Outlook client or after the installation is completed. And second, the user must be authorized to go offline in Outlook. This setting is available on the Business Management tab within Security Roles. Once the offline capability has been enabled by the user, it is super important to know that all of the processing will be performed on the user's computer. This means that the performance users are accustomed to on the server side will likely be degraded since now it will be performed on their personal computer. Offline data available to the user will be stored on a local Microsoft SQL Server Express database, and when the user is online, synchronization between this database and Dynamics 365 will occur. The database can grow tremendously depending on the synchronized offline data, so it is recommended that a small data set like for example, only records owned by the user going offline is synchronized with the user's personal computer. This is controlled by modifying offline data filters inside the Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Outlook client settings. For added clarity, users can see which fields are being synchronized from their Microsoft Outlook to Dynamics 365. This visibility is granted via the Dynamics 365 for Outlook client settings, and although users can see the fields and the directions in which the fields are synchronized, they cannot make any modifications to field mappings. System administrators can make modifications on the Dynamics 365 side if needed. For example, on organizations such as law firms, users may not want their personal notes synchronized to Dynamics 365. In this case, a system administrator can disable the synchronization of the description field from Dynamics 365 to accomplish this request. 
It is also important to mention that the settings on the field synchronization side applies whether the items are synchronized via the Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Outlook client or server-side sync. For a system administrator to configure synchronized fields, he or she can navigate to the synchronization tab within the system settings of the Dynamics 365 instance. The synchronization can be configured one way, two ways, or completely disabled. One question that comes up often is whether custom fields can be added to the list of synchronized fields, and the answer is not at the moment. And synchronized fields are not limited to contacts, it is also available on appointments and tasks. It is important to note that appointment attachments are not synchronized by default, but the system can be enabled to do so on the same synchronization tab within system settings. As you can see on this screenshot, Business Phone 2 synchronization has been disabled by a system administrator. But instead of looking at a screenshot, let me show you what it looks like on a real environment. So here within Dynamics 365, I'm going to navigate to Settings and Administration. Then I'm going to click on System Settings. And notice if you have if you have been using Microsoft Dynamics 365 for a few versions, notice how many tabs are now showing up on the system settings. It's pretty unbelievable to notice all of the changes that have been taking place over the last few versions. But uh, we're here to click on the synchronization tab. Once you click on the synchronization tab, notice that the second option says manage the synchronized fields of Outlook or Exchange items, including appointments, contacts, and tasks for your entire organization. It's actually more than that. So let me show you what it looks like. So I'm going to click on that. Now notice that in this case, uh, we're looking at appointment fields. Now perhaps you ended up here because you wanted to synchronize or control the synchronization of maybe contact fields. So all you have to do is switch the entity. But look, there's several entities right here that we can actually configure. Things like contact and appointments as you knew, but also faxes, letters, phone calls, recurrent appointments, service activities, and tasks. So all of these have their own set of, of fields that you can synchronize either one way, two ways, or none. You can actually turn it off. So in this case, I'm going to select contact, and let's say that for business phone two, I want to prevent that from happening. So can go ahead and click on the synchronization and notice that there's an X now telling me that business phone 2 will not be synchronized either way. Now there could be some, some fields that I want only synchronized one way. I can, for example, select things like the home phone 2 or maybe the job title and say, look, job title, I only want it to go one way from Outlook into Dynamics 365. So I can actually go through the settings uh, and configure this for all of the users in Dynamics 365. The users will be able to see the actual synchronized fields and the behavior, meaning which direction the synchronization will happen, but they will not be able to change it or customize it in any way. This is a job for the system administrator. A couple of versions ago, Microsoft introduced a new way to allow users to track exchange items such as emails and appointments into Dynamics 365. This solution is called the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook. Instead of being installed and loaded inside of Microsoft Outlook, this app is installed on the server side and requires no installation of the Dynamics 365 for Outlook client on each user's machine. Because the app runs on the server side, load times and overall performance are tremendously improved. And the app works on environments where there is integration from Dynamics 365 Online to Exchange Online, Dynamics 365 On-Premise to Exchange On-Premise, and even on hybrid integration environments. The Dynamics 365 App for Outlook version introduced multiple new commands, an improved UI, the ability for users to set regarding with a single click, as well as the ability to track and create new activities. When an email is received in Exchange, the app is able to display Dynamics 365 contacts and leads found inside of the email, as well as any user included in the email as well. If one of the recipients is not found inside Dynamics 365, the user has the ability to create a new record for the unknown recipient. And the app is smart enough to know when one of the recipients is a distribution list, so it is highlighted for the users as well. In addition to the capabilities we have discussed so far, Users are able to quickly set regarding to most recently used records, search for records inside Dynamics 365 quickly, or even create a new record to set regarding to, all within the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook. Beyond tracking, 
The app also shows record summaries, which includes email enabled custom entities and provides the ability to add activities directly into Dynamics 365. As I mentioned earlier, the functionality doesn't only include emails, it can also track meetings or appointments and allows the users to perform the same functionality they could perform on the Dynamics 365 for Outlook add-in. Notice how when composing an email, access to the knowledge base articles and sales literature is also available. But not only that, Dynamics 365 email templates are also available to be used with the Dynamics 365 app. This thing is amazing. And of course, since the app is installed on the server side, it is available for users accessing their inbox with Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Outlook for Mac, Aldo Web Access, and even Outlook and iPhones. Although this last one is only available when using Dynamics 365 and Exchange both online. In summary, the integration with Microsoft Outlook is one of the main reasons why some organizations select Microsoft Dynamics 365 as their customer relationship management solution and we spend some time understanding why. We provided an overview of Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Outlook, discussed ways to deploy the add-in to users and the steps to configure it. We also talked a little bit about how can users access the functionality on the Outlook client while they're offline. We talked about field synchronization and what can a system administrator do to control which fields are synchronized between Exchange and Dynamics 365. And we wrapped up the module by detailing the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook capabilities available to organizations and their users.